Welcome back. It is an all too uh, common occurrence in some small Kansas towns. Grocery stores and restaurants closing up, leaving residents with few options other than driving to another town for fresh produce or a burger and fries. I want to bring in KSN's Jason Lamb now. And Jason, you visited uh, a small Kansas town where a new burger joint that just opened is thriving. Yeah, it sure is. You know, uh, there was a time when Douglas, a town of about 1,500, had lots of places yeah. to eat. Uh, but in the past year, the town's last three restaurants have all closed just as a new place opened its doors. And now Betty's <laughs> is the place to be. Dining options in Douglas have dwindled in recent years. Well, there was a, a little cafe called The Triangle. It had been here for many, many years and they shut down a little bit after we opened this up and then there was a pizza hut and they went out also a little bit after we opened this up. Like the triangle was great and Craig's was great but when they closed down they really did need somewhere to go. So Douglas natives Kathy and Kirby Gibson along with Terry Gulick stepped up. They purchased the old nondescript red brick Craig's building and they went to work. We wanted to uh, bring something to town and get something to town to be proud of. Uh, kind of have a little destination place for people to come and enjoy themselves. We've lived in Douglas all our lives and we know we're probably going to be in Douglas. And we just wanted to bring something to this town that everyone could be proud of and bring the community together and have something that they could enjoy. After three years of planning and work they did almost entirely on their own, the Gibsons and Gulick opened Betty's last September. Yes, the community has been great. They support us. They, they come and we have our, our regulars here that come in and then we have the people in the surrounding towns that come around and they are great too. From which time I've seen Betty's on Facebook um, and followed her for a while and my one of my children live in um, Augusta, and so I know they've come down here several times. Laura Sullivan from Pennsylvania traveled with a group of friends from Pittsburgh, Kansas, and drove two and a half hours to eat lunch at Betty's. It's, just, it's fantastic, made by hand, made to order. What's not to love about that? Um, fresh ingredients, and I mean, the line's out the door. It's been out the door the whole time we've been here, so you can tell everyone's coming from all around to eat at this place. Nikki Armstrong and her husband came down from Rose Hill. The Black Knight Burger is very delicious. I had that for the first time. My husband always goes for the BLT. The curly fries are great. You really can't go wrong with ordering anything. The Black Knight Burger gets its name from the antique bicycle hanging on the stone wall when you enter Betty's. There's also an ice shack out front. And when Kathy rings that bell, everybody gets free ice cream. We just are trying to build our community back up. Kind of give people a reason to come to Douglas. Kathy and Kirby, wonderful people. They did an outstanding job on the building. It is super clean, good food, good personalities. If you haven't been here, please come to Douglas, Kansas and try it. If you didn't know, Douglas is about a 35, 40 minute drive from downtown Wichita. Betty's, if you're wondering, is named after Kathy Gibson's mother. In addition to their fantastic burgers and chicken sandwiches, Betty's also sells homemade pies mm. and ice cream. Jeff, it's really a jewel doing great business, drawing customers from all across the state. You're making me hungry, and that's the, that is the cool thing. Uh, there's really nothing better than a locally owned small town restaurant, right. burger joint, or hangout. Those things are great. They do mean a lot. You could tell it means a lot to the town of Douglas. So, yeah, it means yeah. a lot to the folks who, who put a lot of sweat, equity, yep. and hard work into opening the place. All right, good story. Lamb, thank you so much. Thanks. We'll be right back.